Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a puzzling question that many developers encounter. Our viewer wonders why the same JAR file has different hash values every time they build it. Let's dive into this intriguing issue and uncover the reasons behind these changing hashes. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. The reason your JAR files have different hash values each time you build them is due to the inclusion of metadata in the build process. Even if you remove certain elements from the manifest, other factors can still affect the hash. One significant factor is the inclusion of timestamps in the compiled bytecode. Each time you build your project, the compiler may embed the current date and time into the class files, leading to different hashes. Additionally, if you are using libraries or dependencies that are also being compiled, their versions or build timestamps can change, contributing to the overall hash difference. To achieve consistent hash values, consider using a build tool configuration that removes or standardizes these timestamps. For example, you can use the Maven Build Helper Maven plugin to control timestamp inclusion. In summary, the differences in hash values for your JAR files stem from metadata, timestamps and bytecode, and changes in dependencies. By managing these factors, you can achieve more consistent results. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're seeing different hashes for the same JAR file every time you build, it could be due to file timestamps. In Gradle, both JAR and WAR tasks are based on the zip task, which has a property called Preserve File Timestamps. To ensure consistent hashes, set Preserve File Timestamps to false in your build.gradle file for both JAR and WAR tasks. This will help create identical shades. If you're building on macOS, be cautious of DS store files, as they can also affect your hashes. You can disable their creation and remove existing ones with terminal commands. For consistent hashes across different operating systems, set the reproducible file order property to true for both JAR and WAR tasks, and ensure the UMask is the same on both systems. By following these steps, you can achieve the same SHAs for your artifacts, no matter where you build them. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To ensure the same JAR file has a consistent hash on every build, you can modify your Gradle file. First, remove the manifest date to prevent it from changing. Then, set the timestamps to not appear in the JAR and enforce a reproducible file order. This approach helps maintain the integrity of your builds, making them reproducible and reliable.
For more details, you can check out the article on reproducible builds in Java. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Java builds can produce different jar file hashes each time due to factors like file order and timestamps. This makes reproducible builds challenging. Maven plugins can also introduce variations. To achieve reproducible builds, consider using specific plugins designed for this purpose. For Scala projects, you can use the SBT Reproducible Builds plugin. Gradle also has resources for creating reproducible archives. For more information on reproducible builds, visit the Reproducible Builds website. And that's it, guys. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until next time, I hope you have a good day and see you then. Cheers.